Who's excited to see Katie? Woo! Well, I guess if everybody is that excited, there's no reason to wait. So without further ado, uh, please welcome Katie Lott, star of the hit TV show Arrow. Woo! Ice arena. We're so, we're so close to everyone. Hi guys. So how are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing really good, yeah. Welcome to St. Albert in Edmonton. Have you seen in the city at all? Um, well, I've been to Edmonton before um, with my family. We, when I was younger, we went to the mall, of course. <laughs> and like, we did a nice bed and breakfast and it was fun, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're not here in the middle of winter. <laughs> Uh, so you've got a lot of projects on the go right now. You've got a TV show, other TV show, we've got a movie. Uh, tell us a little bit about the movie that you have coming out soon. Um, there's a movie called 400 Days that, um, it's me, Brandon Ralph, which you guys know Brandon, right? Um, and tell us, is it Dane Cook, Ben Feldman, um, and then Tom Cavanaugh also. So it's a good little DC kind of cast in it. And it's a sci-fi movie, so whenever that comes out, you guys got to check it out. It's pretty fun. What's your character in that one? Um, in that, um, I play a... She's a, a doctor and a hopeful astronaut. Um, yeah. So did you have to pretend that you were in space? Uh, we did. We had, like, space outfits, too. <laughs> and we had helmets. We had to wear helmets and they would fog up like every time you would speak. So you'd have to take it off and like like clean it and then like keep cutting. It was, it was a little challenging. Did they put you in an anti-gravity machine? I wish, no. <laughs> Has anyone ever been in one of those? Those things look so, like they'd be so much fun. You should have demanded it as part of your training to really get into character. Yeah, because yeah, you can go and do that, right? Like you can do that somewhere. Thanks, yeah. Right? Thanks. Right? Yeah. Now you have a task. You can go home and find out and Instagram it, maybe. <laughs> so then you also have another TV show coming out next year, Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> so is there anything you can tell us about that? Any secrets you're allowed uh, to give away? No, no secrets. Everyone always wants the secrets. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You know, I'm really excited about the show, and I know a, a lot of the fans are too. Uh, there's, we actually haven't seen scripts yet, so there isn't anything, um, at least I haven't seen anything written, uh, so we don't really know everything that's going on, but we went up to Vancouver to shoot the promo, which I think you guys got to see, uh, and yep. I got to talk to the producers, and they were giving me little tidbits on what the show's going to be like, and... I don't know what I'm allowed to tell what I'm not, but there's... We won't tell anyone. It yeah. stays in this room. Um, but there's going to be time travel, and I'm really excited about that because, like, I want to go and, like, live in different time zones, and that would be really cool to dress in different ways and kind of be, you know, old western or something. Yeah, so which time would you want to be in if you could have been mm -hmm. born in a different period? Um... I don't know. Gosh, that's a hard one. There's so many. I mean, I've always said, like, I'd want to be a hippie, um, <laughs> which I got to do in Mad Men. Uh, did you guys watch the that's finale Stephanie for Mad Men? It was fun coming back for that and not having to wear, like, a pregnant belly. Um, yeah, maybe that period. But no, the show is, like, uh, it's going to be cool. And we're going to have all the action of Arrow, you know, all the fighting, and then also a lot of the effects. Flash has. Um, the first season is going to be 13 episodes, which will allow them to really make it event-based um, and make bigger episodes. Uh, they said that it's going to be a lot like the crossover episodes between Flash and Arrow, um, which I was just watching that on the plane coming over here because I haven't seen it. Um, and it's so fun. It's so funny. And like I was like, this is really good. It's funny. It's lighthearted. It's action. I really dug it. Cool, cool. So let's talk about the action. Is there a lot of fight training you have to do? What do you do to get in shape and get ready for those, those big action scenes? Yeah, so I've been training in Filipino martial arts, which uh, we do a lot of stick 
uh, training. We have like two sticks, and then we also have like the bow staff, which is perfect because that's my weapon. Yeah. Uh, so I've been doing that, and hopefully when I go up to Vancouver to shoot, we can find some more places to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean that's one of my favorite parts about the show is doing the fighting, and I get to do a lot of that. So it, it's it's pretty fun. Those long days. Very long days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, talking about the flash a little bit is there anybody from the flash that you want to work with that you haven't yet uh well yeah i was actually just hanging out with some people um over in the uk and candace uh who's on the flash um i, I hope to we had fun so i was like oh i wanted to, I want to work with you that'd be fun I sent some questions out on Twitter over the course of the week to get some inspiration of what to talk to you about. And must have been three or four different people wanted me to ask you if you could have any superpower, what would that superpower be? That was a popular one. Well, if it was in real life, I would definitely want to fly. Yeah. Without a doubt. I just think that would be really fun. Where would you fly to? Everywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't walk anywhere. I would fly <laughs> everywhere I went. Um, fly from the green room over to the stage. Exactly. Over to the well, answer the questions floating yeah. over everyone. Um, if my character had a superpower, I don't. I. I. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, maybe Sarah Lance should have a superpower? Yeah. Um, I mean, I know you don't know much yet, but what are you hoping is going to happen? Well, the fact that you know she was dead for a while, like she's been on the other side. <laughs> Uh, and she might have seen some things. Yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping that that gives her some kind of, gives her something. I don't know, maybe can tell, like, foresee the future, or read Ooh. minds or something. That'd be cool. That's a good one. With reading minds, you'd want to be careful, though. I don't know if you want to know everything yeah. that everyone is thinking. Maybe for, like, maybe the on the TV show, but in real life, I would <laughs> pass on that power. Just one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about your role. We talked about the fighting and all the training you do for that. Is there anything else you find really challenging or really rewarding in your role? Um, you know, it's interesting to do a show uh, where you're there so much. Uh, on like Arrow is 22 episodes, right? 22? And so you're there pretty much most of the year, every day, all day, and uh, it's really cool because you become like family with everybody. So that was one of my favorite parts is you just spend so much time with everybody and you're like in the same boat together and you become really close. And, um, you get to, you know, make some, some really great friends. So that's probably most rewarding. That's awesome. And especially with those 12, 16, 18 hour days that you probably do. You can kind of lean on each other's shoulders after the, the fight injuries and those kind of things. Are there any other kind of roles you want to take on? I know you have a bit of a, a background in music and dance. Um, I did one dance movie. Um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone saw it. Probably. It wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I would like to do some straight drama. Some heavy drama would be fun, yeah. So I think at this point we're going to open it up. I know a lot of people in the audience have some burning questions they want to ask Katie. So is there anyone out there that would like to throw up their hand and we'll have people yell really loudly and um, ask their questions to Katie about the show? Oh, I can't, I can't see you, but I'm sure there's a good one. Good question. Um, did everyone hear that one? So the no. question was, we uh, we see that you come back with the last myth pit. Is that going to be, where is that happening? When is that happening? <laughs> uh, I, I think, you know, as I said, I haven't seen anything written, but to me it makes the most sense that I would come back to life on Arrow. Um, because once the show starts, like Legends of the Tomorrow, like you should already be there and around. Um, so I'm hoping, and that would be fun for me to go back on the Arrow, too. So I'm hoping that maybe, or what if it was on The Flash? I don't know. But The Last of Us has been shown on Arrow, right? With Thea. So I feel like that would make the most sense. Uh, and, you know, I think everybody is also really curious to know 
how that affects her family and you know what's Detective Lance gonna think knowing his daughter's alive again for like the third time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, right up there. When you were younger, what did you want to be? When you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? Ooh, good question. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? Yeah, you know what? I didn't, well, I didn't know what I wanted to be. I, there was a time when I wanted to be a marine biologist. Uh, my mom was a dolphin trainer when she was younger, so I was like, oh, that would be cool. I, I never planned on acting. And I started dancing when I was seven, and I fell in love with it, and I just danced because I love it, but I didn't know that like that was a job, that people, you could do that. And I ended up moving to LA to dance, but I was still gonna go to college and you know have a regular, a real job. And then um, I ended up moving to Europe and I was in a singing group, and I never planned on, I never really wanted to be a singer, but that was fun. And now, and then I came back and I just started acting. So, um, yeah, when I was younger, I guess I wanted to be a, a marine biologist. What about you? What do you want to be? A veterinarian. A veterinarian? That would be cool. You get to work with animals and you help them. I think that's a good job. We need some good veterinarians. Do you have any pets? I do, yeah. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but you probably see pictures of my dog all the time. I'm sorry. But he's really cute. His name's Beasley. He's a French bulldog. Yeah, right down here. So when you worked with Arrow, who was the biggest surprise to set? And Steven He really is. So, yeah, so are there any pranks on set? And is Steven actually a good guy? Yeah, that's <laughs> Even a Mel, he really is a good guy. Yeah, um, and he's just like such a dude, dude. Like he's not like a fancy LA actor guy, but he's Canadian. I mean, that's why, right? Um, and pranksters. Well, I never got to work with John Barrowman, but I just hear John Barrowman is the biggest prankster. Uh, who else? Stephen always like has little pranks and stuff. We always try to make each other laugh. But I'm hoping I get to work with John Barrowman. I want to see some of these pranks firsthand. <laughs> oh, yeah, right down there. What kind of changes will we see in Sarah Lance uh, post Lazarus Pit? You know, that's a good question. Um, I think that. There has to be changes, uh, it's that's a big thing to happen to her. And we all know that the Lazarus pit has some side effects, right? So I think that, you know, hopefully, I don't know, maybe they make her go crazy, uh, we'll see. But yeah, I think Sarah's, you know, she's gotta change a little bit from it. I mean, she's back from the dead. Thanks. Um, I have always been very active. Uh, I don't do like weight training or anything like that. Um, I, uh, I just do the martial arts, which I actually did before I started acting. So there was a time when I was, I used to go to this gym where we trained dance, like I would break dance, and we'd go there to like flip around, and um, there was a bunch of martial artists there, and so I started teaching them how to break, and they started teaching me martial arts. Uh, and I started getting into that, and I, there was a time when I was like, I want to be a stunt girl, like I'm going to do stunts. And so I was training all that stuff before I got Arrow, which I think is one of the reasons they were interested in me, uh, since I do do all the fighting stuff. And it's fun, I mean, I love it, I really do. And like dance and movement will always be something, uh, a part of who I am, so it's cool to be able to combine it with the acting, yeah. How many of your own stunts do you do? Um, most of the fighting I do, and 
there's certain stuff that I definitely don't do, um, and they wouldn't allow me to do it, because, uh, you know, if I got hurt, then it could be uh, big, big problems, because we wouldn't be able to finish shooting the episode. Not because anyone cares if I get hurt, but... <laughs> um, we're on a schedule. We're on a schedule. Um, but my stunt double, Atlin, is pretty... She's great, and she had to do some pretty crazy stuff. Um, there was one stunt where she had to jump off the back of the... When she was on the back of uh, Arrow's motorcycle, she had to jump onto, like, a moving van. Uh, and that one was so, like, dangerous. She had to wear a, a helmet underneath her wig. Because it was like, I mean, she's actually doing that. So there's stuff like that where I'm like, yeah, yeah, then you go ahead. You do that one, I'll be in my trailer. Uh, but most of the fighting stuff I really like doing. And then any of the, the stuff that we get to do in the water, I always find really fun to film. Just because you're like, I don't know, you're swimming in the freighter and it's like water shooting everywhere. It's really fun. Another one over here. Sure. Yeah, we have to talk. Um, no, I haven't really. I got to meet, they do a, a face mask mold to make my uh, mask. So I got to meet them there where they like cover your entire head in like this plaster stuff, which is pretty crazy. Do you do that stuff? Oh, cool. I love it. Awesome. Another one up there. Good question. I know, when that movie came out, I was like, ah, they copied us. Um, and I watched it, I watched it on the plane, and I thought the actors in it were great. Like, I really liked their cast. And yeah, like, their machine is named Ava, like, our machine was named Ava. They could have at least, like, thought of a different name. Um, but, you know, it was cool, and I'm, and I'm glad that they came out with it, because not many people, you know, saw the machine, and hopefully now more people will see it. But I love sci-fi movies. I think they're amazing. Like, sci-fi is one of my favorite genres, so I liked it. Um, and it was still different. I mean, there's definitely differences, and they probably had, like, way more money than we had to shoot it. Uh, but I liked it. I thought it was good. And if they wanted me to do the sequel, maybe I would do it. <laughs> yeah, right there. Um, I was pretty excited. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, so when you died, did you know you were coming back to life? And I definitely didn't. I don't think they knew at that point. Um, it was, uh, it was really exciting once they told me that, hey, we're gonna do a new show, a spin-off. I wasn't expecting it at all. I was like, how am I even do another show? But yeah, I was excited. Yeah, I got a couple in the front here. I can see her. Favorite My, episode. Yeah, favorite episode. You know, I really liked um, the League of Assassins episode. I think that was my favorite. Because I got to do a lot of cool stuff in that episode. Uh, lots of fighting. And I liked I, that I got to fight in my normal Sarah gear. It's, it's hard to fight in the Canary costume. And it felt good to be able to fight without the wig and the mask and all the crazy clothes. So that was probably my favorite one. Oh, right here, right here. Um, I think it won't affect her as being Black Canary. Like, Laurel is Black Canary. Uh, I think that emotionally it's definitely going to affect her character. Uh, I wonder, you know, when is she going to find out? How is she going to find out? And how is she going to feel about it? And how is Sarah going to feel about her being, taking on, you know, Black Canary? So I, I'm, I'm really interested to see see how that goes. And I can only imagine that it's going to, you know, help Laurel on her trajectory of, you know, being a hero. I think it's only going to help her grow more in that direction. Oh, uh, the top? Yeah, hand up, yeah. Uh, on Flash, in order for Firestorm to work, it's two people together. 
Are you going to explain how that works on Um, what do you mean how it works? Well, because Robbie's not confirmed to be on the show. That is correct. And he's using people, so how does the virus show become the virus show if they don't have the components? That's a good question. You know, and actually I haven't seen that, like, online. I was surprised that people haven't noticed that more. Um, they're going to have to answer that, I would assume. I'm, I'm assuming Flash Season 2 will we'll have some answers on that. Because, uh, you know, uh, Victor Garber's character definitely needs, needs his other half. So maybe we'll have a new character. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was like, you have to go to Eek Fest. Um, no, he did say good things about it, actually. I told him, because we were just in uh, Birmingham together in the UK, and I said that I was going here, and he said that, that he had a lot of fun with you guys last year, and that you guys were a good crowd. Wild. Crazy, that's what he said, applauding all the time, which I haven't heard very much of. Okay. Right. How many people were here last year to see Steven? How many people are coming next year? Who would you guys like to see next year? Arrow team up, yeah. Cool. Love it. Yeah, right at the top then. Okay. Uh, you mentioned that you're part of the singing group as well. Can you sing us a little bit? Definitely cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that thing when I said I never really planned on being a singer? It's because I'm not a very good one. <laughs> How did that? Did you audition for that group? How did that? Happen? Yeah, my best friend, um, I'm from San Diego, my best friend that we came up to LA together as dancers, she was like, I'm gonna go audition for this girl band, and if I get it, I have to move to Germany, so you should probably come with me. And he's like, okay, <laughs> I guess if you're going, I'll go. Over here. So, what yeah, we better. Mm -hmm. um, I think that was a really interesting relationship. You know what I'm really hoping for? And maybe if we just keep blowing up the internet saying that this is what we want, that they'll give some flashbacks from when Nissa and Sarah met. Right? Like, I want to see what happened to Sarah after she got, she died on the freighter. Remember she got pulled out again? And it's, we never found out how she really, how did she get, how did she survive that one? Um, so I'd be interested to see that, and then also I think it'd be fun to like go to Nanda Parbat and train, uh, and have some stuff like that. It would be really cool. So I think both past and future, there's some good stuff between uh, Miss Sarah. I think that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi. Um, so I was just wondering, because um, a lot of times people compare Arrow to like the comics, and um, you're being like a fairly unknown character, do you feel like it gives you a bit more creative freedom with kind of like not having to worry about getting compared to the comic books as much? Um, I never really worried about it before, um, because, you know, you just got to make the character the best that you can make it, and which is what I'll try to do with White Canary. It's almost, I think, harder playing White Canary because not as many people know who White Canary is. When it was, you know, the first time and I was the Canary, Black Canary, people already loved that character. So it was, like, easier because people were like, oh, you're bringing that person to life that I love. And that was great. Um, and so now it's a little bit scarier because people are like, White Canary, I don't I have to win them over, you know? They, they don't already love White Canary. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do that. I think you will. Hope do you so. guys think she'll win people over? <laughs> so I think we have time for two more questions. Oh, I saw that hand go up really quickly. Um, nothing actually. Uh, oh, she, 
well, even when we were, she broke her nose on, on the last, on our <laughs> last, uh, when we shot the promo. Um, but no, I actually, I was pretty lucky. I mean, I think there's probably lots of bloopers of me like running and falling. I, I fall down a lot. Uh, but no, no major injuries, knock on wood. Yeah. One more. I saw a hand right there. Um, before shooting, yes. When I auditioned for the part, I had no idea. I didn't even know who the character was. And then after they told me who it was, DC sent me a bunch of Black Canary comics, which was pretty cool. So I got to read those fun, like, how fun is that? Like, I gotta do some research for my job. Let me read these comics. Like, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, well, like, oh, you're waving your hand so hard. Okay, we'll squeeze one last one in, last one. So, Katie, if you could be in that dramatic film that you wanted to be in in the future, and you were the leading lady, who would, what actor in Hollywood would be your leading man? <laughs> <laughs> um, hands down, uh, oh my god, his name's blanking on me, Mad Max. Tom Hardy. Oh, Tom Hardy. <laughs> yeah. Tom Hardy, for sure. I think he's a fabulous actor, and I'd love to work with him. And what guy over 50? <laughs> guy over 50. Tom's really young, so... Um... Who's your old man? Oh, Jack Nicholson. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Maybe they can both be in my movie. <laughs> Great last question. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Katie, for being here with us today. Let's all thank Katie. over the rest of the day and tomorrow on the stage uh, as well as for photos and autographs we have Adrian Pastar from Shield. So I hope I see you guys all again tomorrow.